fat man. How as we get older, our packs get heavier. <laughs> Twenty-seven degrees out. Uh, that might be it. But my cryotherapy worked wonders. <laughs> Great. All right. Ready? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, go ahead. Finish it. Take your time. <laughs> You got one more big gulp in there. You got it. <laughs> Do not let that pack of sack coffee go to waste. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, I almost forgot something. Oh, your your uh, turkey jerky. Uh huh. That stuff was really good. Oh, good. I'll make some up the next time. Okay. I'm ready. Ready, princess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. At it again back at the Red River Gorge just a quick overnighter we're really just going to do some gear testing and uh, uh, see, get some things dialed in for a trip in what three weeks oh. three weeks we're heading to the Triple Crowns haven't got out yet this year so what we're gonna do start with a survival test <laughs> check. <laughs> check it was a bit chilly last night so uh, we're gonna head to the uh, Osborne Loop we we parked at Bison Way uh, and we're gonna hit the Osborne Loop, head off on Lost Branch, hit the Sheltoe, and then camp out on top of Indian Staircase tonight. I think it was only 24 degrees last night. Yeah, it was pretty freaking cold. I know that much. But tonight it should be about 15 degrees warmer. Is at least what they're saying, I hope. <laughs> On that, we're gonna start out with this road hike for a bit until we hit the first leg of the uh, Osborne Trail. Then we're gonna hang a left. turn off we're gonna hit the Osborne Bend trail now we're gonna go clockwise so normally the trail would curve to the right up here but we're actually gonna branch off on Lost Branch Trail and meet up with the Sheltoe Trace but this is where if you went uh, counterclockwise this is where your trail would end uh, there was a couple parking spaces down there uh, but this is where actually probably one of our biggest inclines of the day. <laughs> so, right off the bat, about 500 feet and three quarters of a mile, roughly. So, you ready? All warmed We're up? Ready. We're at our cabin for the night. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, I reserved a little uh, shelter for us. So, for tonight, if does this meet your expectations? Yeah, absolutely. Your... Okay, it's pretty nice. I know it's a little bit more of a glamping than it is camping, but <laughs> just a random storage shed of some kind. Wow. wow. Interesting. Oh, how cool. Nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Can I see your trekking pole?
Kita Watch for hazards on the trail. <laughs> That's kind of scary. <laughs> All right, we're at the Lost Branch intersection, whereas the uh, Osborne Trail keeps going that way. We're going to hang a left and meet up with the Sheltoe. Uh, at this intersection, it looks like this could be a potential campsite. I don't know, I don't think it would fall in regs, but it looks like it's been, been used as an established site. So, but I, I believe there's probably more on down that way, but we're gonna head this way. I don't see any signs. That says no camping? That's like right. It, well, the, the no camping signs you've seen were next to the parking lot. The yeah, Osborne Trail, actually, once we got to the top was very easy. So it, it was not bad at all. Just what, ridge walking pretty much? Had uh, one pretty decent steep part. Uh, I believe on the map it, it was, seems pretty accurate. It was like about 500 feet per, in three quarters of a mile. It's pretty steep for a, for a decent grade. It's only because it's the first hike of the season and we were freezing. Yeah. <laughs> it made it seem like it was forever. Well, now I know how uh, it feels like to come out of carbonite and I understand the hot solo struggle. <laughs> the struggle the is real. This is real. So we're trying to make the uh, most intelligent decision here. <laughs> we're going to have to cross this creek and there's no overlaying logs, no rocks. And I just warmed up. And he just warmed so up. So excited right now. <laughs> so basically we're going to go ahead and take our shoes and socks off and cross it uh, versus uh, my shoes I could cross and they'll dry quick but as cold as it is I don't want to do that uh, we're just gonna face the music <laughs> I know I'm not happy about this <laughs> you know since we're wet should we go ahead and try to pull a log across for somebody uh, I don't even see one that you could move. There you go, Hercules. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't think that one's gonna happen. <laughs> so, is, there, is there one we can ride across? <laughs> Build the raft. So on the bright side, it doesn't look like there's a lot of sharp rocks. It looks a little bit sandy and flat river stones. That's gonna make it nicer. Maybe not hurt the feet as bad. Yep, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Did I forget to mention this part to you? Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 30 degrees. That is my limit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I didn't lie about that. It's going to be 35 tonight. I just didn't tell you last night was going to be 23. <laughs> oh. It's good for you. I'm trying to expand your horizon. All right, we're going to get across this. Uh, at least one positive note. The sun is shining over there. <laughs> we are across. Um, I'd like to thank somebody. We found uh, a <laughs> pair of dicky socks uh, lying actually on this bench, drying out. Someone must have got them wet and left them here. So for the Ziploc challenge, uh, I'm going to take these with me and take them back so you yeah. can contact us at Jeremy's if you're missing a pair of socks <laughs> contact all things outdoors yeah. <laughs> so but other than that thank you for leaving behind since we could dry off our feet all right shell to the left and cave run to the right we are going left such a cool color where the
creeks meeting in and the two algaes are coloring it. Wow. It's really cool. It's just in this area right here is that turquoise color. This is actually a really awesome campsite. Uh, right off of the Sheltoe. Again, it looks like it's established. I, I imagine you'd have to move a ways off the trail, but how cool. took a little bit of a break over by this creek on Sheltoe. Bison Way was back that way. We just passed it not too long ago. But when you turn left on off of Bison Way onto Sheltoe, before you get to this creek, I'm 90% sure this is the Indian Staircase Bypass. So we're going to take that up to the top of the uh, Indian Staircase this time. So let's, uh, let's check it. What's that? We're going to attempt it. We're going to attempt it, yeah, yeah should be interesting so let's go check it out it's been steep coming up and a lot of blow over so not only is it steep we're having to step over logs every like five feet but you can kind of see this is the first flat spot we've hit since we left the Sheltoe we're gonna go right up on top of there is where we're heading so we got to go through all of this yet. But you can kind of see what we came up. All right. Ready? Ready. Let's do this. See that? You did a staircase over there. Just like free solo without the ropes, but we're not by ourselves and it's not El Cap, so actually it's nothing like free solo. And we have no skill whatsoever. None. Awesome. All right, well, let me get turned around. <laughs> so yeah, we need to go up there. I just seen that spot there. That was pretty cool. So put the poison ivy growing out of it. It's not, it's got some gaps in it. Here, here. Spider-Man, Spider-Man <laughs> does like whatever a Spider-Man does. Um, you wanna hear me that?
trying this out. I just took some zingit and a mini uh, mitten clip right there, and I made a permanent loop on the zingit, and I put a knot on this end to keep the mitten clip from coming off. All I'm doing is just like a half cinch and something lightweight to hang my bag up so I'm not constantly bending over or trying to pick things up off the ground. So actually the first time I've used it and just kind of came up with a little idea and put it to use tonight. So we're uh, that's a success, that's a keeper. So playing right now get some firewood gathered up that's my job right <laughs> no you did your job already you gotta help out oh okay okay so we're gonna get some firewood collected probably straighten this up a little bit um and then probably cook dinner pretty soon i'm always hungry though <laughs> Time to enjoy the evening. I know this is a short trip, brother, but I am really appreciating it. Yeah, no problem, man. Sorry it was so short. Yeah, that's alright. I mean, the goal was to get out and try some gear. All right, so just uh, ran into a few familiar faces. So you see Jason, he's going. And Lance, what's up? And Josh and Tim, Jeremiah, another Jason down there. All right, back. So sorry, battery died as I was trying to introduce you to the uh, YouTube guys that we met up with. So it was really cool meeting with them. Some really great guys. I'll make sure to put their channels in the description. Biogenic freeze. Here we come. <laughs> So, I think it's only going to be in uh, like what 35 I think is the absolute low so from what I was understanding that's it's going to be in the 40s most of the time so we ought to be okay oh, got that. Fire back up. yeah so but it should be a short hike out in the morning uh, we want to make sure to get back we got some family obligations we want to make sure that we attend and uh, so it should be a pretty quick route out we're just going to head back to the what is that, the uh, Indian Staircase Bypass. Uh, take that down, hit the Sheltoe, hit the uh, Bison Way, and we'll be at the car within a couple of miles. So, so that's been a good time. I think uh, good time testing some gear. It's really worked out pretty well. Yeah. So I'm very happy Sparky's hammock didn't fall apart. <laughs> I had faith. <laughs> I knew it was fine. Um, but other than that, we'll... Uh, we're going to get settled in for the evening. Thermal shirt. Putting this shirt on and my sweatshirt <laughs> with my jacket. That's a good idea, my friends. And putting every piece of clothing I have on. Yeah. Get the, uh, hold on, get my sock hat on. Uh, yeah, where was it? Oh, it was in my bag. Oh. I didn't take, again, didn't take time to dig it out. And, cleaned up, heading back to the car. We're gonna try to be quiet because I'm sure some other folks are sleeping. All right, cruising back to the car, had a great time. So just a quick trip that was pretty successful with some new gear. All right, on the Bison Way, making, or not on the Bison Way, sorry, on the Sheltoe, making our way back to the Bison Way. So then once we hit the bison way, three quarters of a mile back to the car, and we are in good shape heading out. So I want to thank everybody for coming along. Hey, thank you. It's been real. It's been fun. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time. Well, good trip. Successful gear run. Bring on the triple crown. And the ibuprofen. And the ibuprofen and flex all 454. <laughs> I'm now that group. <laughs>
<laughs> Is that a new tax bracket? I, I don't. I has to be. <laughs>